And this is called American Gothic. I shot it initially as part of a commercial shoot. It's a fashion spread for Cookie Magazine, their Halloween issue last year. And that was kind of new territory for me. They agreed to let me shoot it where I'm from, in Springfield, Missouri, and use my sisters and families as models. But a couple days before the shot, we got oh, three or four trunks of designer clothes, and we'd, we'd never seen anything like it. Louis Vuitton and Prada and all these high-end clothes, so we went a little crazy. And the guy in this photo, he's like, I, he must be 6'5 or taller, and even though they sent the extra, extra tall, it's still, as you can see, about four or five inches short on him. But after I got the shot, we all ended up kind of liking it. But anyway, it was one of those sort of impromptu things. We knew we wanted a family portrait. And it, it was just kind of a spontaneous idea at the last moment to hang my little cousin Ralphie upside down. But that's what came out of the shot. The, the trunk that we got, full of, I'm not kidding, probably $100,000 worth of clothes, it was just, it was so out of our league. We didn't know what to do with it. We had to hang it all up somewhere so we could see what we had, so we could see who's going to wear what. And we ended up hanging it just outside under our carport, and everyone thought we were having a garage sale. <laughs> so <laughs> we had all these neighbors walking up and just, thumbing through this stuff, and I, I remember at one point my neighbor, Mrs. Collard, trying on this 30, what turned out to be a $30,000 spider ring. <laughs> but you never would have known it because it was wrapped in bubble wrap, but the whole thing was a new experience, and, and we shot this, the image candy, and the party lights all in the course of a day, so it was a pretty intense period, especially for the little ones.